All right, welcome to race week, my 5K and 10K folks. I'm a little kid at Christmas when it comes to race week. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's talk about your Tuesday, March 29th workout. It is a repeat of last week because if anything that I found out over the course of my many years, decades even, of coaching is we kind of need a repeated bout. So basically means maybe we didn't knock it out of the ballpark the first time. We need a second time, maybe even a third time to get better at that particular workout, right? So much as last week, I will be your site leader, leader, excuse me, and I will be blowing a random whistle, right, to denote between a high and low or soft and hard interval, right? Some of them might be two or three minutes long. Some of those intervals might be two or three seconds long. You don't know, I don't know. Or you guys are just going to give me what you got and try to hold on and alternate between, again, that easy and hard. Now, a lot of us, easy or hard looks a little different, right? Much like our intervals throughout the training season, some of them will be hard running to jogging. Someone would just be run walking. Someone be fast walking to slow walking, whatever it is you can give me. Remember, I really like having somebody else control you and having you trying to control your emotions, your speed, your physicality, all those sorts of things, because you never know what's going to be thrown at you on race day. Now, I'd like uh, to you spend the rest of the time talking about the race. The race itself is Saturday morning, right? Race starts at 730 and Forest Park right? My exact meeting location will be emailed out to you hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday. I've been talking to the race director on where or if we can set up a tent on Saturday and exactly where that will be. However, you need to start planning on picking up your packet on Friday, April 1st, right? Happy April Fool's Day. Um, and it is downtown. So it's a little bit of a trek. It's open from 10, ooh, let me get it, 10 to 6 p.m. All right, on Friday, April 1st. You need to do it because it has your race bib, the thing, the number, if you will, that gets pinned to the front of your shirt. Um, so you can have an official time on the race itself. So plan on traveling down or having a friend traveling down um, to the convention center sometime on Friday to pick up your stuff. Now, I am awaiting, much like you, an email that's coming out and it should be pretty quick from the race itself to all that you have registered. Usually all of this stuff gets explained out to an email on race week. So as soon as I hit send, it's probably going to be sent out to the both of us. We just need to look for that email on the particulars. But right now, worst case scenario, it looks like you got to pick up your packet on Friday um, at the American Center and we will meet sometime on Saturday morning at Forest Park, right? Again, everybody's a little bit nervous. We'll get some details as the week comes by, but at least uh, plan on that for now. And if anything changes, I'll let you know. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow.